How's it going everyone? Welcome to uh, my Running on Yarn YouTube channel. I'm Laura and I'm the dyer and owner behind Running on Yarn and I'm really excited that you've chosen to spend your time here today. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about some works in progress that I'm working on, some finished objects. There's a hat that I've been obsessed with and I'm making my third one and so I want to show you that. And also I'm just excited to be back on YouTube sharing some stuff. It's been a very long time for me to kind of get this up and going so um, we're hoping that we can get it going a little bit more so today is Wednesday the 3rd and that's when I'm recording this and it's a gorgeous day here in Wyoming um, I live in Casper it's over 45 degrees I think it's just beautiful we went for a walk this morning the dogs don't want to come inside today and that's a very good thing so um, yeah we're just really loving life and now that spring is coming of course for a lot of people, knitting season's over, but for me, it doesn't really matter because I'm a year-long knitter. So anyways, let's get on with it. Um, I want to start with just showing you uh, the March yarn of the month for running on yarn. Um, there are some skeins left, so if you want them, make sure you get on and get them. But I named this one Rainbows and Shamrock, or Shamrock and Rainbows. Anyways, um, I'm going to kind of get close, kind of block my face out, so hopefully you can see this. So just a really beautiful green. And then I tried to rainbow one end of it. So, and just because it's of how I dyed it, some of it, I don't have full control over how the dye takes up and where it takes up, but I think that's kind of the, the cool thing about hand dyed yarn, right? So. My subscribers have already received their skein by the time you're going to be seeing this, so this isn't a spoiler for sure, um, but there are some a limited amount of skeins left. Uh, I'm excited. I think I'm going to make um, a pair of socks with mine. Um, so I have been looking at some, it was recommended to me, I didn't write it down to tell you, I think it's Summer Lee Knits. I've been looking at some of hers, and so hopefully I'll have some of those to show you here in a, in a month or so. So that is March yarn of the month. Um, so head on over to the website if you would like to see those. So the works in progress that I have to show you, um, or the finished objects and the work in progress, which I'm going to talk about is the Musselberg hat. So I'd seen this one on, um, I think it was crazy sock lady her podcast and I was like oh, I really like that so in Wyoming of course we have a lot of wind and I love my hand knit, knit, knit hats but too often like the wind just goes right through them um, even some of my like fingering knit so I was like I like that because it's a it's a double layer so the Musselberg hat is basically a tube and it's just knit basically all circular uh, you start with I use the disappearing loop cast on um, and then you just decrease and finish it like a normal hat top but then you fold it in on itself so what I have not done to this one this is my husband's that I finished um, and he says it's very very warm I have not wet blocked it but I think initially it would have done a lot better if it had been wet blocked but I don't tend to block hats especially in if it's winter here in Wyoming because um, we'll go out in the snow and it'll get wet and then it just kind of blocks to our heads. So I don't tend to, um, block hats really at all. So this is Cody's and it also, so I'm just going to try it on. This one's a little bit big on me, but so you can kind of put it on and slouch it in the back. So this is the adult large, or you can put it on and just fold it. So you can evenly fold it or what I do to deck lens oftentimes is I just fold up the front. So it just kind of looks like that. With deck lens, I'll just stick it on his head and then just fold up the front. And that seems to work for his hat. So, but it was really fun because it was um, a hat that I got to make one for Declan and one for Cody. So they have matching hats now. This is Declan's. And same thing, it's knit in a tube, very warm, much smaller tube. I'll kind of show you the difference, like much, much smaller. So 
And this one fits Declan really, really nicely. And I still have some ends that I thought I had woven in. I just need to tuck them in. Um, I had finished off the skein for this and then um, put in uh, an extra skein here. So I actually have enough, enough that I can make Declan some like mittens or something. So I might do that. Um, so for the, and I'm making another one and I left it across the room, so I'm not going to go grab it, but I'll show it to you next time. I'm making one out of some Madeline Tosh. And so it's really beautiful and it's a single ply, so it's different. The yarn I used for this was Hedgehog um, Sock Yarn. And so I really like it. Now that it's knit up, it's really super soft. And that's what I was going for. Um, and the colorway is Nutmeg. So I just love, it's got so many great little colors in there. Let me get that. Some nice greens, browns, a little bit of yellow. I also kind of like um, Cody's tent striped much more, probably because of the gauge, so, or the amount of stitches around. So I love that too. It's just something a little different. Uh, I found it, it's a very nice yarn to keep a gauge, a literally even knitting gauge, knitting tension. So I really like that about the yarn. And then um, the cons to this kind of, this yarn for sure, was that because of how it's plied, it did split quite a bit. Um, it helped when I was on metal needles, but when I was trying to increase and decrease on wooden, it split a lot. I think it would be difficult if I was doing a lot more intricate stuff at the top with it. But um, had I had some metal double points or some like carbons, it would have been a lot better. So that would be the only downside to this yarn, but I really love Hedgehog, so I will almost always choose them even if they do split a little bit. And the finished product, you wouldn't even know. It's so nice. So so that is the Musselburg hat, and I will put a link in the description below for that. I highly recommend this. I did these both in February, so they're like, it's. I wouldn't say it's a super quick knit, especially the adult one, the adult size, but you could make it quick. She has, um, the way she has the pattern written, it's all gauged. So you start the, you pick your needles, which are just like for the sock needles, it was recommended that you just go a couple sizes up from your sock, um, uh, sock needle that you usually use. So I usually use a one or one and a half and I used a three um, on these. And I really like how they're coming out. And with the one I'm working on now with the single ply, I'm also using a three, but the gauge is a little different. So what's nice is you go up as far as you can till you see um, like you have an inch that you can measure and then you measure how many stitches are across one inch and then that'll guide you to how much you need to increase. So it's really like you could choose, I think she recommends up to a light DK, but you could choose something a little heavier and this would be probably a really quick knit and that would be a lot warmer too. And this is already really warm. So I really rec recommend that pattern. Um, I will be making a whole lot more of these in the future. I think so um but hopefully next time I'm on I'll have my my version of it with a different um a different yarn the other thing I was thinking you could do too which we might do at some point is because it's knit in the round you can totally do some color work in there I think you could do I think if you you would have to know where to put it in but you could do a color work band maybe right here and right here and that would look really cool too so I don't think I'd want it where it bends though. So I'll have to try that for you guys. But that is the Musselburg hat. Next, I have a pattern review for you. This is a pattern that was designed for my Lush yarn, um, which is my new base. And that's an alpaca merino blend. It's really, really awesome. Um, it's It's got enough, it's only 20% alpaca. So it's got enough like, alpaca that is really soft but it's got enough merino that it still has some shape sometimes with alpaca I find that it drapes too much for my liking so um I tend to stay away from it actually but I really I got this yarn as a sample and a sample pack from my, uh one of my suppliers and I was like oh this is something I have to have to dye up so so the pattern is the Marion toque and this is by um Angel Kissed Fiber Arts, and she's local here in Casper too, which is so cool that we were able to do this. And so I'm going to kind of hold it up um, and see if the yarn I chose is just a tad dark for the pattern. So let me find the best repeat to show you. Maybe, maybe right here is. 
and I'm just gonna kind of show that. So it's a really cool um, pattern. I had never done anything like this. And um, so she starts with a really, a, a nice little rib, which is optional. I chose to do the rib because I do like a ribbed hat. And then um, there's one stitch here that's a super easy stitch. Actually, they're both really easy. And then just kind of a pattern here that makes kind of, um, well, there's a heart stitch in it, but also it's like a, there's some, uh, like a leaf coming out of the middle. So it's, it's really, really pretty. I will put a picture right here uh, so you can see the better version of it in a lighter color, which I think is better. So um, I think, so this is my colorway that's called Deepest Blue. And I do have one kit available with this color. And the kits, I will show you in a second, come with a little palm too. So I would rate this pattern as an intermediate pattern. Not because of the hat pattern, but you need to have done at least one hat, in my opinion, for this. Um, just to be really comfortable knitting in the round. Because then the pattern is just, um, for the first repeat or two, you kind of have to pay attention Kind of carefully but then after that it goes super easy so i'd say like beginner intermediate um i would not make this your first hat but you definitely could figure it out if you're pretty comfortable with um knitting and purling and your basic skills and um jessica's done such a good job she has technique videos that are embedded into the pattern so um any questions i had on it i was actually able just to go right to those and watch them a couple of them i did watch on repeat but um, it was just more so just to figure out how many stitches down I needed to grab the extra loop. So, um, but I, after the first repeat, I don't think I looked at them after that. A really nice, easy one that you could adapt. Um, so the, what I chose to do, the modification she recommends, I believe it's an Italian tubular cast on, um, because of the color of my yarn, it was so dark and I couldn't be like super focused on doing the Italian cast uh, tubular, I chose a long tail cast on, which I think is still a pretty clean cast on. And I kind of prefer that anyways. It's stretchy enough, but gives enough um, form that your hats just don't like uh, kind of stretch at the bottom with wear. So I like that. Um, another thing that I really made sure of, so I really like my hats to cover my ears. I don't like them to be up here or here. That drives me crazy. Really made sure she had recommended seven and a half to eight inches of length before you decrease. I made sure I was at that eight before I decreased. And so I really got the nice length and I like her decrease is pretty fast, but um, as long as you make sure you have that length, you're, it's, it's really good. Um, and then I did not do a tassel or a palm because it's just not really my style. I like them, but they're, uh, my hats tend to get thrown in the car, in my bags, and it just, I, they, they don't wear well on my hats because I tend to throw them into my sleeve, whatever. So I don't usually put those on there. So I did not do that on mine, but that is what I have for, I'll kind of show you that a little bit more. I will show you the kits, which all include a palm. So. I would definitely recommend doing this pattern again. I actually have another um, one that I'm planning on doing out of Mountain Meadows based wool. Um, and I just have to decide on my color on that. I think I'm gonna use their bulky base cause I have some dyed up downstairs. So um, so that is the Marion Toque. Um, I would highly, highly recommend. It's kind of a fun, quick pattern. Um, mine only with my crazy life of having a little seven month old. I was really able to finish it in about three nights, I think. So once I started it, so I would highly recommend doing that. Um, through March 12th, um, Jessica from Angel Kiss Fiber Arts is offering a 25% discount on the pattern um, with the purchase of either the Lush yarn or the kit. So I'll show you kind of the kits. Um, like I said, this one is that deepest blue. If you want something darker, that's awesome. It is definitely, I think maybe a little dark for the pattern, but it's still really beautiful and wearable. And that one comes with a palm right here. 
I'm trying to keep these all together, which is why I brought them in there. This is, um, if you've seen the picture, the picture I'll post is this color, which is just, it's purple. That's the name of it. And this is the palm for that one. There's three more here. This one is Southwest, just a super great little orange. And there was uh, one of the testers did some, uh, did one out of this color and it turned out beautiful. You could really see the, the pattern really nicely. So this is a great hue to kind of, to make it out of. And then we gotta have a monochromatic kit. If you guys have been watching me or following me from any, any time, this is a staple color for me. And that will go along with that palm. And one last one I wanted to show you. And this was, is spring moss. So fitting for spring coming up here. And that one comes with this palm. So again, 25% off if you purchase any of those or any of the Lush through March 12th. Um, if you order it and it's not enough time for you to get the card in the mail, um, with the discount code in it, I will email it to you so you have it, but um, just got have to have that purchase of yarn and I think some of these are going to be so cool. So if you want to hop on the site and look, check them out, please do. Um, I can't wait to see what other people have made of them. So that's all I have for today. So I hope that you've had a great start to your March so far. My favorite holiday is coming up this month, St. Patrick's Day. I still have to get some decorations around my house and some fun stuff for Declan so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do yet for that but um, I hope to be back either next week or the week after with another episode of some finished products and some other works in, pro in progress I have a ton but we only have so much time right so um, happy knitting if you enjoyed this video please click the link below and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get that notification when I get the next video out. Um, I would really appreciate it. Have a great day!